If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. All right, hey there guys, Adrian DeCosta here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be going over the remain the cars that were revealed for the um, Rising Stars, as well as the LTD for tomorrow, uh, which honestly, you know, I was going to pick up at first, but I just thought about some things and I've decided to skip it, which is unfortunate because I do like him, but you know, with considering how this game plays, you can't really go about it. Plus a couple of another reason. Uh, and then go over the pack animations, because apparently there was a lot of pack animations that were leaked today by Mutt Leaks, which is the Twitter I'm on right now. Uh, so first, let's talk about the, let's go on to Metalities um, thing here real quick. So first, the cars that were revealed today that were not in the uh, thing. Uh, first is Mac Jones, alright? 92 overall, 81 speed, 93 throw power, 91 short, 92 mid, 8, 90 deep, 87 under pressure, 80, 78 on the run, I mean, and 83 play action. Now, I am not sure if he does get Hot Route Master. In fact, I'm almost certain he does not. But, this is still a good card. You know, he's got some good accuracy, good throw power, he won't get Gunslinger either, but he does get set feet lead, which is just as good. And I would say it's probably better because of the cheaper AP cost. Um, hopefully they bring down Gunslinger even more because I just, I don't know why it's still so expensive. Um, but Mac Jones looks pretty good, okay? Like, I know he doesn't get any of the key abilities, but you know what? He's a good card. He's he's a very good card. Plus, he has some solid escapability at 81, so it's not like he's that bad out of the pocket. Then we have Nick Bolton for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, this one... And this one's okay. 90 speed, which is actually pretty solid. Uh, 91 acceleration, 86 strength, 89 tackling, 83 play rec though. But a 92 block, but a 90 block shed, 93 hit power, and a 79 zone coverage. Now he does get lurker, but I don't necessarily know he if he's if he's still like good. He's got bad zone coverage, which means you have to user him to, all, all the time. Uh, his hit power is pretty good, so you can get Enforcer, but it's 2 AP uh, for some reason. I think it should be 1, but uh, I spent it on Run Stoppers and Field Generals. Um, and 90 speed is all right, um, but, uh, and he's going to be better on a Kansas City theme team, but I just I don't know necessarily if, you know, this is a card you would want to pick up immediately. Unless you're a Chiefs theme teamer, by that all means, go nuts. Now, getting on to the Limited, and it breaks my heart that I don't want to pick this card up because originally... I was super excited. Tyler Lockett is the LTD for tomorrow for the offense. Oh, this breaks my heart. This really does break my heart, guys. I wanted to get Tyler Lockett so bad. But a good, my good friend, uh, Nate uh, Padilla. God, I hope I said that right. I'm staring directly fucking at it, and I hope I said it right. Reminded me of a couple of things. One, Lockett is 5'10". And we already have an overabundance of wide receivers for the Seahawks team team. That's number one. Number two, and this one's, these are things I didn't even think of right uh, as well. He's a deep threat. Deep threat wide receivers are not good right now. Obviously, they can get some good abilities, but their better abilities are all in like the tier three slots, which, they, you know, it's, it's whatever, right? Like, deep threads are the improvisers of the wide receiver position. And we already have good enough receivers. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, again, what about Devin Hester? Devin Hester's 5'11", yes. However, he's a route runner, okay? He's a route runner archetype, which means he can get route technician for 2 AP, which makes him more valuable, all right? Which makes him more valuable to me because of the fact that he can get such a good ability for a cheap cost. And, you know, I really don't need to be going out and spending my coins or trying to spend my coins on Tyler Lockett. Maybe later on in the year when he gets a series redux, uh, maybe in like a couple of months, when he gets a season redux, then I will consider it. But right now, as of the recording of this video, I am not going to have Tyler Lockett uh, just because he's just, he, he, I hate saying it, but he's just too small. Pause. He's just too small of a receiver 
and it hurts. It hurts so much. Like you could, hopefully, you can feel the pain in my voice. Like this card is so good, but he's weighed down by the fact that he's just, he's just so small. You know, if smaller wide receivers actually were more favorable, I would be, I would have no problem going after this card right away. But like 93 speed powered up, 90, 91, and 94 on the route running, you know, 91 spec catch, 92, like, God, oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. The pain, the pain I feel, guys, is just imme immeasurable at this point. Oh, the pain. The pain is, the pain is too much. Uh, let's just, let's get away from the pain, and let's talk about pack animations. Now, apparently, there was a lot spoiled by Mutt Leaks. So today, I'm going to be show, just showcasing them to you guys, not talking about them too much. But let's go over them. So we had the graffiti reveal, so I don't know what this is going to be for, but it's a but it's a graffiti reveal for a promo. Then we have uh, the Sugar Rush High reveal. Um, Yeah, looks all right. Then we have uh, Inf... Infrared Elite reveal. Then we've got the uh, Sci-Fi Tunnel reveal. This one is actually kind of funny. Um, however, not as funny as some of the other ones. Like, for example, um, later on. Then we have the Black History Month promo, which I'm glad to see this one back, um, to be completely honest, because I do think it is important to celebrate Black, Black History Month. This one, though, is trippy as fuck. <laughs> Cosmic vibes. This one is fucking trippy. My goodness. <laughs> now, obviously, take these with a grain of salt because sometimes Mutt Leaks did actually reveal some pack animations. Like, I think he revealed something similar to this last year, but it never came to the game. So, um, just take these with a grain of salt. But also, they are pretty reliable. He is pretty reliable. Uh, then we have Summer Blockbusters, which means, you know... That seems good. Uh, then we have Position Heroes. Then lastly, we have Mutt 50. Now this one I am happy to actually see because I actually really did like the 50 promo last year. It was a fantastic promo. I hope they bring it back at some point because it, it was just a great promo, you know? Getting like a free... Basically, getting a free card is just fantastic. And the Mutt, And the 50 promo... Is just one of the best ways to earn free. It was just a great way to earn free cards. It was just such a great way to earn cards. So I hope they bring the Mutt 50 promo back. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.